talk about some things. We're going to open up for y'all to ask some questions. But it has to stay away from specific struck material. This is Chicago energy, huh? You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. This, this is a four of a con energy, but we're going to turn it up. We're going to turn it up. <laughs> you already know we're going to turn it up. So I need y'all to be respectful of the strike. Okay, can y'all do that for me? Yeah. Okay, good. Because otherwise, I'm going to throw a shoe at you. Okay? Those are my, listen, my aim is deadly. Pew. Shamit, bro. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Nah, nah, you're more than good, brother. You're looking good. You're flying. Look at his fit, y'all. Come on. Um, we got we to gotta talk about that because you've been killing it in a fashion way as well. Like you're, you're a phenomenal actor. Thank you. Great musician. <laughs> Did y'all know that? Get on that. But your, your, your modeling as of late has been on point. I need to know, how did you get started in that side of the entertainment biz? Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I've been working on a lot behind the scenes and uh, to me, I'm just warming up. I, I, I feel like I'm very calm right now, but yeah. <laughs> that's because of how I'm going to show up in a second. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, you know okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah. I love it. I love it. Now, when it comes to being a, a model, and I'm gonna give you that credit, like you are a model now. Like. We slimming down for two reasons: <laughs> for the live action, right, right, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> prospects, prospects, and and, and and you know, right, right, to fit my clothes to get those clothes on. But no, like when it comes to fashion, what is what is your vibe? Because there's, it's not like you go like, oh, that's just streetwear, or oh, that's just updos. Like you have a mix of things. What is it that you look for? Is it texture? Is it color? What is it that you rock with? It's a mix of everything, man. I, I feel like uh, I like silhouettes, you know, or like I feel like, you know, all the iconic um, people in, in my mind, right? Uh, as far as men go, I, I feel like they have aesthetics, a mood, not even an attitude. Yeah. There's an attitude about um, their whole style and aesthetic and I, I feel like that's what I've been developing for a few years and if I purchase a piece you know I like to look at the details like uh, you know texture as you mentioned yes, or yes. like I was talking about silhouettes or the stitching in a shirt or a jacket or you know maybe this would be dope but in like leather instead of like silk or, right, you right. know what I mean like <laughs> that kind of thing so I, 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 I purchase things with the intention of creating uh, pieces. I love that, uh, I love that. One of one. Listen, that's, that's yeah. beautiful. Make some noise for that, y'all. <laughs> because here's, here's the thing. As a, as a creative, you're a storyteller, and there's a lot of things that you invoke with your presence, uh, with your words, and your, your actions. And I think that that becomes uh, such an a understated part of the craft of how do I tell stories even when I'm not telling stories. Right. And I think you've, you've been someone who has told some of the most tremendous stories as of late in different media. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things where I got to know, like, what drew you to acting and storytelling in that capacity? What drew me to acting? Um, I started off as a dancer mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, naturally, you know, that led to me being in music videos and the cast and directors from the music videos were getting hired by Cartoon Network, for example, gotcha. uh, in Atlanta to look for some kids. Right. Oh, I'm a casting director. I know a kid that did a really good job in a Soldier Boy video. You know what? <laughs> Call my dad or whoever, however they know to contact me. Ding, 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 ding. Hey, yeah, I want the little boy that was dancing in the video. You know how to get to him? Perfect. Here's somebody calling my parents. Hell oh, yeah, they're they, they looking for you. Do, do, do. Go to the audition. I do my thing. I end up booking it. That's brilliant. That led to, you know, getting an agent, right. which brought me opportunities for my first acting job in like Tyler Perry's House of Pain. I was wow. able to say, no, I did a couple commercials on my own. <laughs> really? Listen to this confident 12-year-old boy. <laughs> well, you should be. That's what I'm saying. Listen, at 12, you accomplish a lot more than some people have their whole lives. So let's, let's keep that a million. But I love that, though, where art begets more art. And I think there's something brilliant about uh, using expression to be part of your identity. Now, when it comes to breakdancing... You gotta be a magnet. You gotta be the your way. energy has to be a magnet Listen with, with whatever it is that you're doing. It does, I think everything is art. Art is like creation itself, and we're all made. Well, now go ahead. And, and I, truth, I can't. I can't speak over different walks of life and whatever. But there is a. In my mind, mm -hmm. we are of something. Okay. You know, okay. There is a collective consciousness, mm -hmm. and uh, 
everything happens for a reason. And I feel like with intention, you can really see um, things manifest. So if it's uh, you wanting to have your own building built from scratch in the middle of Chicago with your middle name on the top of the building, like Iron Man or something, right, right, <laughs> you right. know, like Starks, that will probably happen in your hundred years if it is something that you truly, you know, attract to you. Absolutely. Um, and I, it's that way across the board. You want to be Miles Morales. You want to be. Come on, make some noise for um, that. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you want to, you want to create the ultimate microphone that's used across the nation or the world. It's like all of it's possible because somebody did it and they were human. Mm. Mm. So it's Sunday. Did y'all know y'all was coming to church? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah. gonna get this message. Y'all gonna get this message. What I what I think is brilliant about this, uh, even still, is that as you're on this journey of creativity, I think you are very open to trying new things. It's not that you have a set path yet. You right. feel like you are just kind of eyes open. What right. is something that you haven't uh, explored that you know is on your radar? Like I'm gonna I'm touch this. I've done dance. I've done movies. I've done shows. Right. I'm fashionable as all get out. But what is the what's the next thing that you gonna touch? Um. Well, I'm currently in the process of developing an app. Um, okay. Is something that I'm touching, but you're asking, what am I not doing? I mean, that's yet to be proven. Music is yet to be proven. Um, uh, but that's still at the core of you. So I don't want to say it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not unproven. It's just uh, not but, the only facet. Yeah. To the masses, like you know, actor Shamik. Right. Moore, you right. Know? Um, and as you like dig under and like, if you're actually into like culture and finding like. If you're into who's setting trends that's not famous, but like that the famous people are looking at right. to, in order to know what's cool and stuff, that's like where you find the me's of the world and like you know I love it. My my colleagues and whatnot, like the 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 people, the coolest people in Chicago that don't get the credit, you know what I mean? Yep. Behind Little Dirk's music video or song or beat or etc. I feel like those are the ones that um. What was your, I'm sorry. No, 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 you vibing, you vibing. It doesn't matter what I ask. You vibing, you speak your truth. Because I think you're absolutely right. Those people that are the undercurrent of yeah. culture, that keep it moving, that keep it fresh, may not be the most famous people behind it, but they are the innovators and the trendsetters. Yeah. And that's kind of the lane that you like to be in is, yeah. I, I like to play with stuff before people know it's great. Well, I think it's, I think that is my nature. That's the yeah. cloth. But I was lucky enough to, Get jobs like dope. Of course, and, of course. Uh, the Get Down and Wu Tang, you know, Spider Verse. Those opportunities open up the, you know, wait a second. But, no, you, you like, yeah, wait, I was like, wait, what are you looking at? Like, yeah, because you did that really well, too. He's like, wait a minute. I'm like, what is it? Yeah. Come on, you can't do that to black people. You know, we turn around. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do that to us. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> You know, I think so, you know, just believing in myself. I think the mentality uh, is kind of what kind of separates. Because um, some people are okay with, or I can't speak about everybody else. I just know my journey is is definitely you know being disruptive. I, that's I love that. I, I don't really want to look, feel, sound, or give off the same energy as someone else. I you know? love so, that. And I think anybody that, that calls Chicago home knows that that's a vibe too, right? Like y'all know how to get in there, get in a space, and make yourselves known, even if you're not, you know, from the East Coast, the West Coast, Chicago stands out. Am I right? Okay, I was just checking. I had to make sure y'all were still in the room. I had to make sure y'all were still in the room. So out of curiosity, when you're in your downtime, uh -huh. what do you get into? What's, what's, what's your chill state? What do you like to do? Do you read? I do read. Talk to me. What's the last thing that you read? Um, I'm not going to lie. I haven't read read a new book probably almost a year oof, um, oof. so it's been a little second you've been busy I've been busy um, but the last book I read was conversations with God part three mm, mm. Uh, I'm really into like I like to download information I like to have conversations that do something to my soul come on now you know what I'm saying I feel like all the it's it's difficult to have like surface level conversations for me, right? Because um, I just rather be by myself. I'm an introverted extrovert. <laughs> extroverted when it's like turn it on, Shamik. You're right. in front of people. It's time to work. Um, introverted in every other second of my life. Wow. So 
It's very like internal. Yes. And I love to read things that feed the knowledge of self, like what what rings true. Mm -hmm. But also, it, it is true that you got to be careful what you read because some, you know you got to take what resonates with you. Of course. What rings to be true. That's right. that's very important because. You know, again, that's just another human writing their experience in a book. Very you know true. what I mean? So, it doesn't mean that their truth is more true than yours. Right. You have to sift through that. That's brilliant. But something you say in your book, I might not have been able to, to express right? or completely understand. That's right. Even with myself, right. in my mind. You know, talking about it, this is how I feel, this is my perception of it. I, 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 I might read your book right. and be like, you're right. <laughs> you know and those are the books that just keep me coming back those are the authors that's the genre you know i love that i love that again you are you're constantly searching and forever in tune with yourself um is that something that you got from from your upbringing was it something that was instilled by family that before anything you have to know you first before you can make the impact on the world that you have it's funny you say that i mean maybe indirectly you know, uh, my dad used to say something to me when I first figured out I wanted to be an entertainer. He, he used to tell me, like, you know, he would never be discouraging. He would, he, it's like my dad would be like, you need to, he would basically tell me I'm not ready. Okay. You know, but he would, he would never say you're not ready, Shamik. Like, that's not something that would come out of his mouth. Right. But his, I know that my dad knew I needed to know more about myself before becoming famous. And I think, I think he used to speak on other, because he would never talk about me directly. He would right. talk about like, you know, how scary it must have been for Michael Jackson or mm. Justin Bieber or these, you know, Miley Cyruses and et cetera. Because right. it's like, these are kids. And to me, looking at Disney Channel and Hannah Montana or seeing Justin Bieber when he first came out. That's right, Mickey Mouse Club stuff. What? When Justin Bieber first came out, like, I, you know, just being honest, it, it's very hard for me to, to get into and you know, you have to be cool for me to like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I heard him sing and whatnot, I was like, oh! And my friends were working with him as his dancers and choreographers, I was like, oh! And then I saw him and girls were screaming for him, I was like, that's it! <laughs> and, cause I'm talking about other people who I don't know, and sure, like, sure. their business, so I'm skipping forward to me now. Um, I'm kind of like, definitely thankful that I was able to entertain the idea of my, and creativity right. through music videos and early commercials and you know incredible crew and stuff yeah early on before I got to a Wu-Tang right or a Spider-Verse mm. where it's like you know it, and I still have it you know there will be and in, in, in I'm telling you in the next 10 years We'll be looking at this moment like, oh, that was very, he was still, or, that was when I first found out about Shamik right. was when he did Spider-Verse. Oh, he was the voice. I didn't even know. Right. Da, da, da. Anyway, just don't believe me. Just watch. Listen, but, hey, uh, hey, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. You speak that truth. You manifest. You manifest. That's what I'm talking about. To say all that to say, I feel like now I can, I can move forward yes. on my walk and my journey. And I can accept you for who you are without judgment, you know? Respect. And whether or not you accept me, I accept myself and I'll still accept you without judgment. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Is that not the blueprint for a better tomorrow? Like, it literally is. I love that. I'm gonna invite you guys to come ask some questions. We got two microphones here. As I said before, we have to stay away from... Man, you jumped up there super fast. I feel like you were sitting on the floor the whole time. We gonna start with you, because you earned that one. You just like materialized over there. That was amazing. I love it, I love it. Hello, friend, how you doing today? I'm doing good. Hey, how you doing? Um. Can I ask two questions? Is that okay? I mean, you got a line of people behind you. I'll ask one. Um, as long as they're not struck company stuff, like you can help me out, okay? I got you, I got okay. you. Okay. Um, which soundtrack do you like more, Into the Spider-Verse or Across the Spider-Verse? It's, it's an interesting, uh, I feel like I asked this question at my table. If you've been to my table, you probably... Absolutely. Um, it's, it's, I feel like the first film had more iconic moments between Sunflower and What's Up Danger and some of the other moments in there. And I feel like the newer one has a modern, 
cohesive kind of like. Hey, 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 let's go. It has that, and I'm from Atlanta, so it, it connected to like, you know, what's going on and what's cool. Something that Miles will would probably be listening to right. if it just dropped. Uh, whereas the first the first one was like. You know, wow, this is iconic. You know what I mean? It's yeah, a big yeah. song. This is like, right. you know, so yeah. Thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Okay, let me make sure this is working. Oh, yeah, it's on. Okay, good. Okay, the world needs to know. Ah, damn it. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Okay. This <laughs> is the world so out. embarrassing. Uh, okay. Do you watch anime, and what are some of your favorite anime you've been watching lately? You're absolutely right. The world does need to know that. Uh, I love Demon Slayer. Oh, let's go! I was a, I was a little hurt about season three, but uh, well. I, I, I do love Demon Slayer. I love uh, Attack on Titan. Yeah. I do also feel like they take too long to get to these new episodes. Yeah. Um, and I want action from Aaron and the rest of them. Yes, yes. Uh, the story building is cool, but we waiting too long, okay? Y'all need to give up, y'all need to feed the soul. Um, uh, Naruto is a classic, obviously. Yes. Yes. Um, caught up on Boruto. Uh, I'm still missing um, Jujutsu Kaisen. I, I, I just miss my lead character. Where is he at? He disappeared. The whole, you know, I don't mean to give criticism to all of my favorite animes. No, I'm just no, saying, no, as a fan of those animes, I'm like, why is everybody playing with me? Um, That's what it is. I got to take time to wait three years for this. You ain't gonna be in it? Like you ain't in it? Come on, man. What are we doing? Um, and I feel I'm missing some, but just to give you a few. Nice, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mob Psycho 100 was really cool too. Whoa. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hello. How you doing, Shamik? Peace. All right. Just so you know, there's a lot of people that want to be the live action Miles Morales. Yeah. So I have a question for you. What do you, what are you gonna do to make sure that you secure that bag? Wow. 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 Well. Uh, Chicago Comic Con! Yeah. How you guys doing? Did you like Across the Spider-Verse? Yeah. Woo! Hard to compete with that, buddy. <laughs> you know what? That's a, that's a really good point. When it comes to the will of the people yeah. and what they want to see, yeah. that is a very powerful thing. And yeah. I think that when you, when you establish uh, your, your voice in such a way, yeah. it's really hard for us to not see you. That is why I'm at all these Comic Cons. That's it. To be clear. Listen, he's campaigning, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> he better than the mayor, better than president. Yeah. <laughs> to be That's clear. what I'm talking about. Traveling miles to be miles. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I love it. Let you know you cool as hell, and I watch you when it get down. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Um, you said that you had an earlier career as a dancer, and now you're modeling. What's your fitness schedule to keep to like a professional level? Let's go. Particularly like on the knees. <laughs> I got old man knees. I'm trying to avoid. Uh, right. Um. Um. What's your fitness schedule? Which yeah, yeah, my fitness schedule. I'm like. <laughs> Um, so I have recently uh, started back up in the gym about two or three weeks ago mm -hmm. and uh, I've gotten back on my boxing. I'm, I'm in the gym five times a week. Okay, uh, okay. I'm running two miles a day right now. I was running and I kind of hurt my ankle and my right knee so Ooh. I got braces for my ankle and my knee so I'm good now. Um, I'm trying to get back up to five miles a day which is what I was on when I did the get down and when I did dope. Nice. Uh, for the chiseled young look. Get it, get it. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just warming up now. I think I'll probably start lifting weights in like, you know, 14 days, give it another two weeks. And uh, fitness schedule, I mean, it's just waking up and being committed, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm, 
I'm not completely vegan. I'm like 85, 90% vegan. I'm plant-based. But I will eat some sashimi if I, if okay, I go out okay. and if I can find some, you know, good Japanese food. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm slimming up and I'm, uh, I'm working on it. I'm actively, I'm working on it. I love that. I love that. Are, you, are you just going solo dolo or are you working with a team? I have a boxing coach. Um, big shout out to him, for sure. Big shout out to him. He survived a tumor in his brain. Get out. Yeah. Um, blessed. Yes, so, yes, yes. Uh, I'm talking about dedication. Yeah. Just, you have no excuse not to get up. You can do that. And be yeah. at the gym. You got to be there. Yeah. That's real. Also, I think about, you know, that, that question about Miles, you know, I, I think about it all the time. And I'm like, there's a couple of things on my radar right now where it's like, there's unless I'm 35 or 40 or something, there's no way I'm gonna give it up without a fight. Come on now. Yeah. Still don't. Still don't. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Hello, so I just wanted to say, um, I work in a movie theater and uh, we all jam out to your, the credits while we're waiting for people to like, you know, exit. And, <laughs> and sometimes we get to clean do it if everyone already exited. I just wanna say, great music. Absolutely. Uh, sec also, um, who is your favorite like you personally, not the not Miles Morales. Who is your favorite uh, char uh, spider character that uh, Miles Morales has encountered with? Uh, spider Punk. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Easy. He had Miles's back from like jump. I, I, wait, 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 We can't talk about that. Don't do 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 that. In the comics, he did. Yeah. In the comics. <laughs> He definitely, he definitely was a friend in the comics. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Read, read some books. <laughs> I, got you. Yeah. I, got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Thank you for that question. Hello. My favorite Spider-Man game is Spider-Man 2 from PlayStation 2. Okay. I okay. gotta know. Do you got a favorite Spider-Man game? Favorite Spidey game. Um, shout out my boy Naji, man. Yeah. I love playing that game. Yeah, I can't wait. Uh, the new one didn't come out yet, did it? Not yet. Oh. No, not yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The trailer yeah. looks good, though. Yeah, it looks really good. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to give it to him because, you know, I love him. That's my boy. And Have you played I also love the game Boy when you were little? Oh, yeah. the game. How I even know about Spider-Man was from the Game Boy video game. Yeah. The one. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. You know, the, the silver or gray one? Yeah. <laughs> and, like... I used to cheat on the video game because I would just swing over all of the missions. <laughs> so. Is that cheating or is that smart? I don't know. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Thank you, that's thank awesome. You, thank you. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tribute? How are you? Hey, how's it going? It's going well. I'm just wondering with kind of talking about like your history with Spider-Man in general, what does it just mean to be interacting with this, this character in this manner for you now and, and this way? Um, while filming the movie Dope, I had a journal that was given to me by my castmate, Kiersey Clemens. Um, and while we were filming, we were I was running five miles a day. Uh, we used to try to drag her with us, but you know. Uh, we'd wake up at 6 a.m., we were meditating. Uh, Pharrell told us to read the book, uh, The Alchemist, uh, The Four Agreements. Well, that. Um, so we, that was the start of the, the, that, the book journey. Right. Um, the master key system, etc. So we're really practicing the laws of attraction. Yeah. And um, at that point, while filming the movie Dope, I wrote in my journal on the front page, I am Miles Morales on the back, I am Spider-Man. Uh, and when the movie premiered at Sundance, before it came out to the world, we went to Sundance, we showed Dope. There was a standing ovation. I then gained confidence as an actor because before then, uh, you know, I got kicked out of acting class and et cetera. Um, no, you don't got it all me. Look, look at, look at us now. Um, <laughs> um, uh, and the point, of, the answer to your question is uh, Chris, Phil, uh, Bob, and et cetera, the Spider Team uh, for Into the Spider Verse uh, was at Sundance. Mm at the premiere of Dope, at, at, uh, you know, I was filming this, and write, I wrote it in my journal, and they asked me to record on my, on my phone um, a couple of lines, and they used it as a temp voice for their early animation. They auditioned, you know, Hollywood, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they came right back to the first. <laughs> Here we are, so this manifestation for you. It means everything to me to be a part of the Miles Morales legacy, everything. Former cross country runner, I totally get you with running five miles a day. It's tough. 
Well, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't even. Uh, I'm a for, as a former cross country runner, I totally get running five miles. Again. It's tough. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when I was 21, it was simple. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I could run until I got tired, but it's it's now I got aches and stuff. I'm not like I, I I gotta be I gotta start doing yoga. I've been doing yoga, you know, hey, hey, acupuncture. Yes. So I've taken care of my body better right. in order to to do that. But I'm working my way back. Gotcha. So thank, good. Thank, thank, thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, a little over ten years ago, you did a TV show, a skit show. You mentioned the name earlier, but I'm not sure I'm allowed to say it again. Yeah, Incredible Crew. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering if you had any fun. Well, first of all, I really loved that show as a kid. I thought it was hilarious. Absolutely. Uh, I was wondering if you had any fun memories uh, you'd like to share about uh, pr uh, the production of that show. Um, I mean, the whole thing was just like, I mean, it was fun, man. It was, you know, I made a little bit of money. Uh, I met Nick Cannon, I think, at that time. That's that was really cool. Not that it's not cool to meet him now, I'm saying that. <laughs> Let's be clear, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but just to remind everybody, at least for culture one time, right. you know what I'm saying? Drumline? Hey! You feel me? What's the one where he uh, he had all this, he had to get his swag and uh, the lead the lead girl was um, yeah love don't cost, love don't cost a thing. hey right. listen which that is a, maybe Cannon? a movie maybe a movie yeah, yeah plus all of that and whatnot like he I feel like he I I always appreciate him for giving me that first dose of a TV show and um, yeah it was just a good moment for me so I think the most fond memories at that point was just kind of seeing him and. You know, really just being like, yeah, I'm your man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I was like that. <laughs> I was like, I love it. I'm gonna bring that energy. You know, I was very, when I was younger, it was okay to be that confident uh, openly because it was like, this little kid. <laughs> Let me see what he really could do real quick. It, it opened up the doors because it, it's just like, you're curious. And then uh, the older you get, you gotta you gotta figure out a way to communicate. <laughs> be, be relatable. You gotta you gotta keep the confidence, but 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 be humble. But be humble. Like, you know. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Time check. We got like five minutes left. Forget so the time. Let's keep going. Yeah. You boss. Okay. What's up, son? How we doing? I just wanted to say thank you for playing Miles. Uh, it's really important for mixed people to have someone to look to. Um, and, you know, watching, watching across the Spider-Verse, when they're like... Wait, d d d form that question just a little differently right, so right. that we're not talking about... Right, right, right. Um, yeah, there we go. But, like, when people talk to Miles and they're like, well, you're an anomaly, you don't belong anywhere. You know, growing up mixed, I heard a lot of growing up say the same thing to me. And I think Miles is really important for mixed kids growing up to have someone to look up to. So thank you. I didn't write the character, uh, but I'm also very thankful to be involved with his legacy. Absolutely, you know. That was that was it. That's all you wanted to say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I stood in line that whole time. That's love. That's love. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, Shamik. Um, we met yesterday. What's up, man? And thanks for signing my Jace. I'll make sure I'll sign when I'm uh, 80 years old. <laughs> you said you're 80 years old. No, when I'm when I'm when I turn 80. Oh. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Well, my question is this, um, what was it like uh, pretending to work with a cast in uh, the first film? film? And did you actually do, do the uh, shoulder touch with Haley Seinfeld where you go like, hey? Um, so the first film was really, was really fun. Um, I worked a lot with uh, Jake Johnson, um, Brian Tyree Henry, Mahershala. Um, I think it was mostly, mostly us, us four. And uh, I met Haley when we did Comic-Con in San Diego. Um, we met on stage wow. for the first time. Um, so, so yeah, and after that, you know, I think me and Jake got really close on the press run. Uh, I learned how to do interviews better with him. Cause I'm so like flow of consciousness, you know, like I just <laughs> speak and I think uh, it's important to kind of frame what you're, what you're saying. Anyway, I learned that from him and, um, um, your question about Haley, no, I wasn't. We didn't do the Haley scene together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did a couple of scenes together, though, but that wasn't one of them for across. Thank you. Thank you. 
Hello. Hey, uh, I was wondering, are there any roles or characters or properties that you would love to have a chance to do or directors you'd like to work with in the future? Like, do you have a wish list Sheesh. of what you'd like to do as your career Do involves? I have a wish list? Um, Is there a particular character or role you want to have a shot at your take on? Or okay, so like I'll break it down for you like this. I uh, 100% uh, feel like if it's right now, in the next seven years, they're making a live action Miles Morales. Say it. I feel like it'll be it'll be really tough to. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be really tough. I think the performance just needs to be iconic, and I think I think my resume. I don't need to say anything else. Just, you if you haven't seen it, Miles Morales is for the culture and it's for humanity. Uh, so you can look at Dope, The Get Down, or Wu-Tang, um, and I don't really have to say anything else. Now, uh, Static Shock, if, if, Marvel is, if, if, Marvel, if Marvel is asleep, I don't, I, don't think, I don't think Mr. Gunn is going to be sleeping. I've already gotten that email, so, uh, you know, boom. And, <laughs> um, and outside of that, I want to play in every genre. I need a thriller. Wow. I need an action film. I want to do something detective, black and white style. Nice. You know, uh, I just finished a comedy with Susan Sarandon, so nice. we'll drop that soon. Awesome. Um, and I just want to play on all forms, and then I want to do it all again, from dope all the way up to the horror film that I haven't done yet as a director. Um, nice. Directors I want to work with. I mean, you don't really. You don't really need a name for me, you need a vision, mm. you know? Mm. Um, you need a vision, and I need to feel like you really got it, and we got we on the same page about it. But most importantly, where I feel like diversity is going is in uh, IP, and the ownership of the IP, and the kind of projects that are getting made. The reason there's so many remakes, you know, <laughs> right now is because the studios want to make money. Right. And original IP is scary, you know? How do, how do we know that it's gonna do as well as a Top Gun would do? We know Top Gun did well, Tom Cruise is doing, let's just make another one, you know? And it's like that with everything. You, we'll probably get another everything before we're gone. And I feel like, I feel like, you know, it's a great stepping stone for a Miles Morales to exist. It's a great stepping stone for, for Black Panther, it's a great stepping stone for, um, I guess I, can I switch up? It's a great stepping stone for a Blue Beetle. It's a great stepping stone for, that's, that's what'll make the difference. So, new characters, new movies, new visions, new comics. All of that. Original, new, uh, 2023, 2024, and forward, not 1980. Remaking for 2023. We've seen it already, we grew up on it. It would be cool if we didn't get if it didn't get flooded. If we right, didn't get right. flooded these last ten years on remakes. It would be cool, but to me, you know what I'm saying. Let's just move forward. There it Good. is. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So listen, listen. We technically are at time. Right. 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 We can try to get like three, four more. How uh, how's that line looking? I mean, that line looked deep, bro. <laughs> that line was deep. I'm not gonna lie to you. I tell you what, I tell you what, we're going to try to do three or four more. I'm going to do something that we normally don't do. Uh, I'm going to ask, can we do a stage selfie? And those people that are in line still get first dibs right here at the front. Can we do that? Cool. All right, cool. that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Hello. Hi, if you had a choice, would you rather play a live action Miles Morales or keep doing the animated one? And if you wanted to do the live action one, would you want to do like a tag team with other Spider-Mans or just a solo film? Mm. Mm. Um, I don't think that the uni- uh, look, I saw Across the Spider-Verse, you did too. Um, no spoilers, everybody saw it, right? No spoilers here? Okay, cool. Um, I saw Andrew Garfield, I saw uh, a couple other spiders in there, and I don't see why, I don't think I have to choose, I think. There we go. I think uh, I wanna, every time you see animated Miles in the, in the Spider-Verse series, I, I would love the opportunity to be him. And, uh, you know, even if I just get one, 
live action. That'll, I'm telling you, I have, I know, <laughs> I know, I will leave my soul in that character and like, it'll just be tough to follow. So it's, it's, it's that's all I really got. There it is. All of the above. Thank you, one, one with Tom Holland and Andrew Garfield, for sure. There you go. And Tom Hardy. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Hello. Hi. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Um, it's been said more so often this afternoon, but thank you so much for your body of work. I'm thank so you. appreciative of you. And I had to express my gratitude first. Thank you. Um, Miles has a lot of unique superpowers. Um, that have been displayed over the two two films, mm -hmm. um, but I think one of the things that makes him resonate, um, especially with you like portraying him, is his heart. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. What would you consider like your best trait? Let me rephrase that for uh, anyone that's listening that from SAG. The character Miles uh -huh. in the comics has a lot of powers. Yes. Uh -huh. and one of the best things about his character in the comics yep. is his heart. <laughs> How do you connect with that? I, I think uh, it sounds funny because you just used the word heart, but in many interviews you can go looking for, for proof. Uh, I think that I was hired because of my heart. I think, I think I can only play characters that I find within myself. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not as mentally young as Miles is so there's a little bit of like you know unlayering to yes. get to him you yes. know in my heart but the heart that he has that is that is the parallel between me and Miles that's why I can play that role it resonates you know? it res oh, thank absolutely. You. Yes. Thank you. absolutely thank you uh, and I feel that way about all the characters, even though it's a, a I don't know if you've seen Wu-Tang, but if you've seen Wu-Tang, my performance is Raekwon the chef, I would also say it's the heart, even meeting him in person, we're nothing alike, but the heart, you know, it's, it's, it's about family, it's about standing for something, you know, um, it's about legacy, and I think, uh, I think that's where the correlation is everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. multi-passionate entertainer who dabbles in like dance and voiceover and on camera and all of that mm -hmm. um, do you find that the current landscape of entertainment rewards um, entertainers who have the multi-passionate um, like mount multi-passionates or uh, punishes those who don't focus in on one thing that they specialize in I think everybody has their own journey everybody has their own hurdles I think as a multi-faceted uh, creative being I am working on showing myself um, in these different mediums um, and I can't really uh, do the I think it's up to the people and the connection to the people I think I think I think if that's such a difficult question I can only speak from my from my point of view and um, I think it's possible I don't know if the industry is going to reward you, but um, or me for that matter. But I think the people will if I if I grow with them and and um, and there's a reason to connect to me and my story. Like what what separates me as an actor from you know any great actor before me, Denzel or Will Smith or you know it's it's not it's not much unless I do something else. You know oh he's a great actor he killed it in. It. You can list 10 of those movies, different movies with these other guys. It, it's just another, it's, it's just like these movies, the, the, the rotating, it, it's, it's repetitive. I don't aim to be like those guys. I'm, I'm working on being me. And as I do that, I feel time will, time will, time will show. You know what does reward it? <laughs> your nature, what, what, what rewards your nature and your multifaceted like mind? is the universe there you go. what you yeah. put out there that magnet it yeah. is so real i'm telling you it's so real it's so real so on, attract what you want thank you. thank you you will be our last question and this is how we're going to do this after your question gets answered we're going to have everybody just calmly quietly you guys come up here to the front and then all of you guys can stand up to be in the picture as well you guys can kind of come in surrounding them okay everybody got that yes thank you hello 
Hi. Um, first of all, is it? I don't know if it's okay if I record um, something. Is that okay with is it you? Cool if she records yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. okay. I don't know if this would go against the strike. If so, just let me know. I'll My son know. couldn't be here, but he wanted to ask you, um, what is your favorite thing? I guess line that you would have said as. Yes, we can. Okay. Do that. Kind of figured. Okay, I guess. Um, next question would be out of all. Like somebody did say that Miles has a bunch of different, you know, in the comic book. A bunch of different powers. If you have to pick out of those, which would like you pick as your favorite? Oh, that's today great. probably be invisibility. Wow. It's the introvert. It happens. It happens. Yeah. It happens. Not that. That's not for you guys. I mean, it's just more like, you know, I I, I love interacting with uh with Spider-Man fans, the Spider-Man fan base coming to Comic Con um, and campaigning. Uh, but I, I do, I do, um, I do, I feel like I'm in hibernation mode mentally, just creatively. I'm working on a bunch of different things. And, uh, you know, sometimes it can feel like you spread yourself thin. I, I feel, I feel like I'm very hungry. You know, Spider Verse came out, but like the biggest movie of my life, you don't even see my face. In my mind, like I'm very, very hungry. And um, so sometimes invisibility is like, you know, where is he? And when you pop up, when I pop up, I want it to be a bang, you know? That's so true. that's just, that's just, no, 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 I love my it. transparency. Love thank you so much. All right, thank you guys. Listen, I'm gonna say that it's so good that you didn't say the, the venom sting, the electricity of it, because you're already electric. And this is one of the reasons why we love you so very much. And we thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Um, thank, you. thank you, Chicago, for, for having us.